up. Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to Function. We're gonna get started. Okay, so standing up nice and tall, get the shoulders nicely opened up. Just gonna get in some warm ups before we start. Okay, so nicely getting the shoulders back and down and in the opposite way. Okay, so it's quite tight around the shoulders. Nice arm circles, take them up around. Make sure you have enough room that you're not gonna hit anything. When you're moving, just be aware of your surroundings. Okay, and then change the opposite way, take it up and round. Again, if you don't have enough room to have the full, full arm rotation, you can just do the nice work into the shoulders and back like that, okay? Okay, starting to bring one knee up. You're gonna bring it up in towards the chest, standing nice and tall, watching your balance, seeing how it is today. And then change to the side. It's always my side, I kind of get wobbly on. That's it, and the other side, bring it up. Get your balance. And the other side, one more time. Okay, and relax. Nice rotation of the body. Nicely opening up. Okay. Reach that a little bit further if you feel comfortable to do so. Okay. And they're just gently gonna come in a wee jog. Get ourselves a little bit warmer. Okay, so we're not doing the full high knees. We're waiting for later on for that. Nicely working just to warm up that little bit more. Bring your hands up and back down. Right up, so as if you're pressing up and back down. Okay, you're gonna get the heels to the bum. Get in the back. So nice to get in there. Heel the bum. Last few seconds, and then we're gonna go into jacks. Last five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. And out to the side. Again, making sure you have enough space. Hi. Yes, join in. Come on. That's it. Last 10 seconds, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Whew. Okay, one more before we go. So, we're gonna do a walk out and a plank. Okay, we're gonna do a press. We're gonna come all the way back up, okay? So, come up, all the way down, walk on out, press, push up, walk all the way back up. And to the top, okay? Let's get started. Starting three, hang on, three, two, one, and away you go, all the way out. Press down, push up, walk all the way back up to the top, okay? All the way down, all the way out. Press down, push up, all the way up. Okay, two more times, keep going. Just Gonna adjust slightly. Okay, that's it. Looking good. One more. One more. And relax and breathe. Last one coming back up again. And relax. Okay. Have a quick drink while I'm gonna be chatting about what we're gonna do next. Okay, keep moving though. So as I said before, if you have your dumbbells um, or kettlebells, or you just want to do body weight, that's perfectly fine. Okay, so with your dumbbells, I'm going to show you a few modifications, so bear with me. So two exercises that you can do. If you do have the weights, please have the weights in your hands. Bring them to your shoulder, feet hip width apart. Now I'm only practicing, so don't worry, we will get started. So sitting back down into it, driving up, press overhead, come all the way down and back down, and press overhead, okay? The second one, if you do not have your dumbbells, what I want you to do is squat jumps. Okay, with your squat jumps, you're going to go down and jumping up. Okay, nicely into it. So, choose which one is appropriate for you. 
and we need to be at 40 seconds on the clock and 20 seconds of break. Now, we're doing three sets of these, three sets, each one after another, same exercise three times, okay? You have 40 seconds on, 20 seconds of a break. So be ready, okay? And enjoy the break when you can. So here we go. Starting the clock. So whether you got the weights or you're jumping, ready? Three, two, one. Back down into the squat. Drive on up. Now you have 40 seconds of doing this. So control, nicely activating through the muscles. Okay, so if you're doing it with the weights, gently sitting back on those heels. And again, gently working through the movement. And keep breathing, of course. That's it, we're halfway through. Nicely and controlled. All the way up. Two down, two up. Okay. So make sure the weight is appropriate for you. If you're starting to struggle, take it maybe down to one weight or no weights. Okay, you can do body weight, squats. You do not have to do it with weights. Last one. And relax and breathe. Take that 20 seconds. Shake it out, loosen up. Whew. And then we're gonna do it all over again. Same exercise. Same exercise we're gonna do. Another two rounds. You got five seconds, grab those weights. Have them up, have them prepared. Ready, same one, three, two, one. Back down to the squat, drive it up. So once we've done three sets of this one, we won't see it again, okay? Nicely working through, getting that range. That's it, keep it going. Last 15 seconds on the clock. Starting to feel those weights if you have them. Starting to feel those legs yet. Come on, last five seconds on the clock. Come on. One more. Oh, that's us. Okay, breathe. Take those 20 seconds. Let the weights down. Shake it out a little bit. Loosen up. Okay, 10 seconds. Ready to get back in. Grab the weights. Have them up. Starting three, two, one, back down again, get into that squat. Drive all the way up and back down. Come on. How's the squat jumps doing? If you're doing them, come on, keep going. Last 15 seconds, we're almost there. Round three, almost complete. Come on, last 10 seconds. Come on, you can get another three out. Two, one more, finish it off. Whew. And relax and breathe. Take it easy, now. We get a nice wee break. It's the water time. This is the time we want to shake it out a wee bit if you need to. Okay. Oh, next one. One of my favorites. So, we're gonna come down to the mat, make sure you have enough space. Okay, so on this one, we're doing plank up downs. You can do it on your knees, you can do it on your toes. So, you're gonna come into a plank position. Okay, nicely in the plank position. You're gonna go down, you're gonna go up, you're gonna go down, you're gonna go up. Okay, keep it in that plank position. If you wanna take the knee down, make sure the knees are slightly further behind. Bring it down. Bring it back up, okay? So if you start off with your, on your feet for the first or second time, perfectly fine. If you need to knock it down to the third go on your knees, choose that point, okay? Let's get started, shall we? Let me just put on a buzzer. Do take your time. Okay, so, gonna get started. Make sure that you're down on the mat. Ready, start in five, four, Three, two, one. Take it down, back up. Okay, so from a nice high plank to a low plank, remember to change the arms over. You might find in this one, I may not be breathing as good as I am, or talking as much, so don't worry. Keep it going. Ugh. 
Last 15 seconds. Keep going. That's it, looking good. Last five. Four, three, two, one, and breathe. Sit back, stretch it out. Loosen up. You have another 10 seconds to go before we're doing it all over again. So, whether on your toes, whether on your knees, you choose. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Back down and up. You might find I might go a little bit quieter here. Keep it going. All that concentration on chairs. Twenty seconds. Keep it going. Has those arms. The last ten seconds. Come on, one more. Ah, relax. Sit back. Well earned rest. Sit it back. Stretch. Oh, loosen up those arms. Get a good stretch. Okay, one more time, you ready? I know, I know. Come on, three, two, one, back down. So, last 40 seconds of this exercise, you will not see it again, which I am looking forward to. I don't know about you. Keep going, keep it going. We're almost there. Halfway through already. That's it, come on. The halfway hurdle. You've done so well, come on. Keep it going. Last 10 seconds. You can make it, come on. Last three, two, one more of these. Back up and stretch it out. Woo. Now, have a quick drink if you need it. Move around. Now we will be on the floor again. We're going to do reverse curls to high knees. You can adjust it to what suits you. Okay, so let me go through it with you. Just bring us a wee bit closer. So when I'm down there, I don't have to move so far. Okay, so as we come back down to the ground, I'm gonna demonstrate for you to do, take your time. There's no need to rush as much. So, hopefully. Now, when we're lying back in down, we're gonna bring our hands down to support. We're gonna relax our shoulders. So what we're gonna do is a reverse curl. Let's just tuck in, yeah? So reverse curl and push up, okay? Now, don't go too far if you feel your back arch. So you can just keep it nicely in line. And you'll just draw in, push up, okay? You can extend out if you want to and then you're controlled. Or you can just keep it a nice little lifting up so tucking in extending up okay otherwise if you're feeling any lower back issues or you're not comfortable with the exercise please feel free to change it to what is more appropriate for you within this time okay we're gonna do three rounds of this one Just setting the timer are you ready starting in five four three two one back up push Okay, so tucking in, drawing the knees in towards the chest, pushing up to the sky. Last 10 seconds. Keep going. And relax and breathe. Take a few moments on the floor just to breathe, just to relax. Listen up a little bit if you need to. Last 10 seconds. Okay, are we ready? Starting in three, two, one. Same exercise. Draw in, extend up, 
If you need a bottle of five, please do. If you're starting to feel it on the first round, please change to appropriate exercise that might be suitable. You could do basically just extending one leg out at a time if you don't want to do the reverse curl and the push up. Okay, so do find the one that's appropriate for you. Do not overdo it in your lower back. Keeping that core nice and strong throughout. Last five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Okay, go one more round. One more round. Take your time. Breathe, loosen up. We got a nice little break afterwards. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Alrighty, back into it. Roll in, push up. Halfway through already. Keep breathing. And relax and breathe. Well done. Have a quick drink if you need it. Okay, so doing those three rounds. Next one, we're going to be standing. Going to be high knees. Okay, so we're going to do a nice high knees. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is nice high knees, three sets. Okay, try as much as If it feels too much to do high knees, you can just step up. Have those knees up. You can do a nice little rotation if that feels better. But what we're going to do is nice high knees, nice activation through the body. Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Bring those knees up. Okay, so nicely up in front. You choose the speed. You want to go a little bit faster for those 40 seconds. Or you want to keep it at a good pace. Or you want to have a high knee. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay? So nice modifications, choose what's appropriate for you. Last 15 seconds on the clock. That's it, looking good. That's it. Come on, those last few seconds are right there, come on. Three, two, one, breathe. Okay, keep walking around, keep breathing. You haven't got long, you've got another 10 seconds. We'll do it all over again. Round two, round three is waiting. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Let's get back into it, let's go. Again, if you want to do really, really, really fast, or you can do nice, just high knees. Get the arms going if you want to work a little bit more. Last part, come on, keep going. I know you're starting to feel it, come on. Keep going, push for it. Come on, last five seconds, you can do it. That's it, come on. Three, two, one, breathe. Keep walking around. Whew. Nice deep breaths. Try it a little bit if you get some tight areas. Ready, three, two, one. Back into it, round three. That's it, come on, the last round. Won't see it again, come on. Last 15 seconds, come on, keep 
Keep those knees up. Knees up. Last five, four, three, two, one, and breathe. Well done. Get a break. Ah. High knees are one of my favorites. <sighs> really. So keep, take a nice sweet break. Might have a wee bit longer for this one. Whew. Okay, this is where you can have weight or no weight, depending on the movement, okay? So, all you're gonna do is a reverse curl, so you can have the weights with you. If you want a little bit of weight, well, it's a dumbbell, well, it's two handbells, sorry, dumbbells, should we say? So basically, you can hold it here, it's a reverse curl, and then rotation to the side, okay? So look at it at a different view. You're gonna step back and reverse curl. Sit down into that lunge, rotate back up, okay? So we're rotating over the knee side, okay? So if you go back on one leg, it's over to the knee side, once, back up, back in the reverse, and back, okay? Again, you can just do a nice reverse curl. If that's a little bit better, at your own pace as long as you get that back knee down. Nice 90 degrees angle with the front leg. Okay, let's get started. So whether you have the weight or no weight, that is up to you. Ready? Three, two, one. So step back into it, nice rotation, come back up. So you're in that waistline as well as the legs activating. So first of all, you wanna make sure you have a good base in that re reverse lunge. Keep breathing throughout. I can see I'm a little bit tired. We keep it going. That's it. Drive into it. Back up. That's it. Looking good. Yep. Loving it. Last 10 seconds. You ready? Keep going. Keep it going. And relax and breathe. Shake it out. Shake it out. So again, if you do start off with weights and then want to take away the weights around the second or third round, perfectly fine. Make sure the weights are appropriate for you and that you're not injuring yourself in any way. Ready? So hit those weights. Five, four, three, two, one. Back into the reverse lunge. Rotate the torso, come back up. Okay, try to work the waistline more than the shoulder. So sitting back into it, keep those hips facing forward as much as you can. As it taking that pace, your own time, nice movements. Come on, last 15 seconds. Legs might be feeling it after all those high knees. Feel a little bit warmer now. That's it. And relax, shake it out. Shake it out. If you can, try to get the knee all the way back and down to the mat. If you have any knee issues, just take it to the range that feels comfortable or a different action. Ready to start in five, four, three. Yep, back into it. Three, two, one. It's not long, 20 seconds is not long. It's not long at all. Okay, so the deeper you get into the lunge, better base, make sure when you step back that you're not too in line, that you're giving enough space for those hips. Of course, your balance would be a good one. Come on, last 10 seconds. You can do the last 10 seconds of the round three. Get a nice break. Come on, one more on each side. Finish it off. That's it, looking good. Well done. Okay, quick drink if you need it. Doo -doo. Okay, Whew. so we're gonna be on the mat for the next one. We're gonna be on the mat, so we're gonna do press ups to side plank. Press ups to side plank. Okay, so coming down to the ground, we're just gonna demonstrate, though, to take your time. Okay, so take your time on that break if you need it. So, 
Whether you're on your knees, whether you're on your toes, it is up to you. Find your range and your ability in your movements, okay? So, I'm gonna start off with a nice plank position. Weight over, come down, press up. Take it to the side, and the side plank. Come down, press all the way down, come up, and to the other side, okay? If you find it's a little bit too much to be on your toes, take your knees slightly back from that tabletop position. Make sure your chest comes in the middle of the hands and your head is further. You're gonna push up, you're gonna roll on your side, straighten one leg, and come up into the side plank. Again, press down, push up to the side plank, okay? So, again, choose what suits you. We'll get started in the next five seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna set my timer. We'll get started. So, ready to start? Yep, looking good. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so you're gonna press down, push up, take it to the side, come all the way down, press, push up, take it to the side. Okay, so make sure your head is further than your hands. Okay, really working those pectorals, chest muscles, okay? Instead of just getting your head to the groin, okay? So it's really working through the chest and the arms, pushing through the arms, taking it to the side. Nicely working that waistline. Come back down. Come on, one more. We can do one more. Yep, one more. Push it and to the side. And then back and stretch. Give yourself a nice little break. Okay, coming up. Listen up the arms. Okay, got 10 more seconds before we start all over again. Round two, round three. You ready? Starting in five, four, three, two, one. Back down, push down to the side. Come back up, all the way down. Push up, take it to the side, all the way down. You got it. Keep going. Starting to feel those arms. How about you? Come on, last 10 seconds. Two more on each side at least. As many as you can do. One more. Woo, looking good. Stretch it back. Breathe, 20 seconds. Woo, looking good. Almost there, round three. Are you ready? Yeah, good. You've got four, three, two, one, let's go. So try to do as many as you can. If you can only do the side planks, that's perfectly fine. If you only wanna do the press ups. So if you can do them all, that's excellent. Keep going, try to fill the time with the movement, improving each time you do it. Looking good. Last one. Whew. Well done. Three runs done. Stretch back, breathe. This is a good time to take a break. Have a quick drink. Yeah. Whew. Hydrate just a little bit more. Okay, we will be back down on the ground again. So don't just too much. You can grab the water while you're down there. It's perfectly fine. We're gonna do bicycles. Three rounds of bicycles. Okay, so back down on the ground. Okay, so take your time. I'm gonna show you a few wee things while I'm down here. So take a wee bit more breather. So, and bicycle, you're gonna have your knees up in line with your hips, okay? Hands will be on your temple. You extend out through one leg and the elbow rotates to the opposite knee. And we change side to side, okay? If this is a little bit too much, you can put your feet down. You can come up, touch, come back, touch, okay? So if you only do bicycle for the two and have to go to the third one down here, it's perfectly fine. If you can complete them all doing bicycle, that's okay too. Are you ready? Let's get started. That's five seconds to go. We're done on our mats. Ready? Wait for the beeps. 
three, two, one, let's go. So nice extending out. You choose the speed if you want to go really, really fast. Or if you want to nicely just take it at a good pace, get that movement, really extending through that heel. Core nice and strong. We're still breathing, of course, aren't we? Good. Keep that going. Almost there. That's it. Keep driving through. Keep breathing through it. Oh, we've got 15 seconds to go. Keep it going. Come on, those last 10 seconds on the clock. Three, two, one. Woo, take a well-earned break. Lie down, relax. Maybe not take some water at this moment in time. You might feel it later. Okay, ready to start in whew, five seconds, starting from now. Ready, back into it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, those 40 seconds. Driving through. Looking good. Come on, keep it going. Halfway through already. Come on, last 10 seconds. Drive for it, come on. Keep breathing. Three, two, one. And relax and breathe. Woo. Oh, can you feel it? One more round, one more round. You get a nice long break. Remember, you can stretch out a little bit. You can loosen up a little bit while you're here. Last five seconds. Are we ready? Starting three, two, get ready. Three, two, one. Let's go. Come on, last round. Keep breathing. I know you're starting to feel it. We're already past halfway, come on. Drive through. That's it. Last five seconds. How we doing? Keep going. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh. Give yourself a nice hug. All right. Ooh, come on up. Take a wee drink. Okay, next one is from standing. Okay, so there's two different versions for this one. There's power jacks and there is jumping jacks. Okay, so jumping jacks is, hang on, it's rubbing my leg a little bit. So jumping jacks are basically out the side. We've done them before, that's a nice modification. So jumping jacks are just this one, okay? This action, okay? The power jacks are slightly different. You start from here, you jump out nice and wide, sit down into a squat position, like a sumo squat, jump back up, like a soldier, come all the way down, okay? So standing tall, all the way down, okay? Ready to start, okay? So, starting in five, four, three, two, one. So you're either coming down into the squat and down. That is your power jack, okay? Get down. So that takes you a little bit slower. You're really getting to the squat. If you're just doing the jumping jacks, a little bit faster, a little bit more movement, okay? So find what suits you, okay? Getting into it, standing tall, sitting back down into it, standing tall. Okay, take it at your own pace. Whether you get 20 done or 15 done, it all depends on yourself. One more, and relax and breathe. Shake it out. Okay, two more rounds to go. Again, if you have any knee issues, you can just do step, step, okay? Three, 
two, one. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Down into it, back up. Down into it, back up. Take your time. Sit back and down on those heels. That's it. You surely will feel them. Some muscles maybe you haven't done or used in a while. Last 10 seconds. So you choose whether you're going to go a little bit faster or keep it a nice piece. And relax and breathe. Woo. Shake it out. You have one more round. Quick drink if you really need it. Loosen up those legs. They're tight. Ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Back out. That's the last round of this one. That's it. That's it. Take your time. It doesn't have to be too wide if it's too much, as long as you're sitting back into it, okay? So if you're going to do part jacking, do that and jump, okay? If it's a little bit more, you want to take it a little bit wider, you can take it out. Okay, or again, as I said before, you can just start doing these ones if you get a little bit tired. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo! And relax and breathe. Oh, three rounds over. Have a quick drink. Okay. So the next one's gonna be on the grind. It's gonna be your plank and tap, okay? Okay, so we're gonna make this one down on the grind. So for this one, you're gonna come to the grind. Advise you maybe to have the nice resistance. So or padding shoes, eh? So nice you in the plank position. Touch the shoulder, touch the shoulder, touch the shoulder, touch the shoulder. Or you can have the knees down, touch the shoulder, touch the shoulder, touch the shoulder, okay? So again, either in the plank position, core nice and strong, touch, touch, okay? Or down on the knees, touch, touch. But maybe want some padding for those knees just to protect them a little bit. Okay, we're gonna get started. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, go. Okay, so nicely in the plank position. Touch your shoulder, come back, get the balance. Again, if this is a little bit too much to touch the shoulder, and you're not used to the off balance, you can just come down into the plank position, whether it's on the hands or the elbows, and you can just stay into the plank hold that position if that feels a little bit better okay so choose what's appropriate for you again you could always put the knees down a touch so you're a little bit more grounded compared to on the toes and you're engaging in that core still three two one and breathe sit back stretch take a moment okay so this is going to be our last exercise before we go, and then we're gonna have a few stretches. Ready to go in 10 seconds. Back up on your toes or your knees. Ready to start in five, four, three, two, one. Touch. Try to keep balance as much as you can. Keep the hips down, body over the arms if you can. Arms. Hands and arms. Okay. Seconds. Again, you could go down into the plank position if that's more appropriate. That's three, two, one. Stretch back and breathe. Woo. Come on, keep it there for a few more seconds. Really enjoy that stretch. 
Are you ready to start back again? Are you? Good. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Okay. So again, touch and tap. Come on, last go of this one. Round three. You're in your last 10 seconds. Keep going. Last three, two, one, and three. Sit back. Get a nice breather. Stay where you are. Put a few stretches. Okay, so what you do is set the bum back towards the heels. Tell me to touch the thighs. Let the forehead come in between the arms. Relax your shoulder blades back and down. Stretch through the hands and arms. Okay, I want you to walk your hands over to the right hand side. Place the left hand down. Right hand on top. Nice rotation through the torso. We're going to look underneath that top arm being your right. Then we're gently coming back to center, walk back to the center. We're going to change it to the side. Change one hand down to the bottom, with the other hand on top. We're gently going to rotate underneath that top arm, softly breathing into it, getting a nice wee stretch onto that waistline. Okay, and gently coming back to the center. You can come forward and down to the ground. We're gently going to bring one hand out in front, bend one knee. Taking that heel towards the city ball and swoop that right arm around to hold onto that right foot. Lift the knee slightly off, only if you feel comfortable to do so, and feel the stretch along the front. Softly breathing into it. And we're gonna release. I'm gonna switch to the other side. Okay, really in the front of the quads. Softly breathing into it. Lift that knee slightly, only if you feel comfortable to do so. You get that stretch. Three, two, one, and release. Now bring your hands underneath your shoulders, rotate the shoulder blades back, tuck the elbows in, push the upper body away from the ground, get a nice stretch along the front of the abdominals. And it's softly back down again. Push back up in the tabletop position. Bring your right foot forward, your left knee down. We're sitting into a lunge position, getting our hip flexors in the front of that leg. We're gently going to bring our hands up. We're going to reach up towards the sky. Okay. We're going to bend the left elbow, place it in the middle of the shoulder blade. Get those triceps back to those arms. We're nicely sitting in there for those hip flexors. Three, two, one, and release. Bring the hand across the body, that left hand across the body. That's it. Nice, nice. We stretch the shoulders. And release. Bring both hands up. Take your right hand down and then stretching that left hand over to the right, really opening up into this waistline here. Three, two, one, come back up. Bring your hands down, tuck the toes under the back foot, send your leg up. Sending that front leg back and line the foot behind. Send the hips up into the downward dog position. Begin to paddle your feet to loosen up. And then bring yourself forward as you stretch into the plank, back up again, stretch both heels back and down, then we're gently going to bend the left knee, take your left foot forward, your right knee down, and we're gently just going to sit into that lunge again, yep, bring both hands up, bend the right elbow, bring that right hand into the middle of the shoulder blade, get your triceps, the backs of the arms, really working in that sitting position, sitting the hips down, body up nice and tall, and release, bring the hand across the body, so that right arm is across the body. So we get a nice shoulder stretch when we're here. Allowing our hips just a little bit more stretch. And then back up again with the hands. Left hand down to reach over with the right hand, really open up in that waistline. Softly breathing into it. Three, two, one, come back up. Hands down, tuck the toes underneath the back foot, lift the hips up. Take that foot back, stretch back into it. Okay, we're gonna soften the knees. Walk the hands back. Let yourself have a nice forward bend. You're gently going to roll the spine up to the top. 
Okay, go listen up the shoulders. Bring your hands behind, nice chest opener. So drawing the hands behind. If you can't feel it too much as you're opening up here, bring your hands out, thumbs back. See if you get a little bit more stretch. Okay. Yep, thumbs are back like Fonzie's back nicely. Yep. Thumbs can go down. That does the arms. Thumbs go up. You're getting the chest. Okay. Bring your hands out in front. Push your shoulder blades back. Gaze to the floor. Almost there. Don't worry. Don't run out yet. Right, three, two, one. Bring your hands up. Relax your shoulders. Stretch to the side. Really working that waistline. Three, two, one. Back up. Relax your shoulders. And over to the other side. Looking good. And we're going to bring it back to center. And I'm going to thank you very much for coming today. And hopefully see you again. Okay. Bye. Bye.